On the edge between land and sea, balance means everything. Nothing represents this better than mangroves, the wetland forests that rule Earth's tropical shores. Mangrove ecosystems occupy thin strips of land at sea level. Their land area makes up less than 1% of all forests worldwide. But it is their location along tropical and subtropical coastlines which makes them extremely important for us to study and understand. This environment is too harsh for most plants to survive. Despite the beating waves, high salinity, and suffocating mud, mangroves maintain their internal balance and even thrive here. Their aerial roots keep the trees anchored and take in air above the surface when tides are high. Mangroves deal with salinity by either blocking salt from entering their roots or by forcing out unwanted salt through their leaves. Mangroves receive water from two sources, inland watersheds and the ocean tides. These bring rich nutrients, which the mangroves trap in their dense root systems like a filter. Hidden from the predators, it makes an ideal breeding ground for fish and crustaceans. As a result, mangroves are among the most productive ecosystems on Earth. They support a huge diversity of species, including our own. These forests benefit local communities in many ways. Mangroves prevent coastal erosion, and they are a natural buffer zone that absorbs the damage from tsunamis and storm surges. Mangroves store vast amounts of carbon in the ground, much more than other types of forests. They are even treated as a commodity in the carbon trading markets. Furthermore, mangroves sustain large fish populations, which is good for local fishermen and their customers worldwide. With all these ecosystem services combined, the annual economic worth of mangroves has been estimated to hundreds of thousands of dollars per kilometer square. But in fact, these are assets that money simply can't buy. Unfortunately, mangrove forests have lost more than a third of their area in the past two decades. Today, mangroves are more endangered than any other ecosystem on the planet. Their proximity to the sea, with all its benefits, also makes them highly vulnerable. Global sea levels are rising each year, while urban areas and farms are expanding into the wetlands that mangroves call home. The coasts are becoming more crowded. If mangroves cannot retreat inland, it is only a matter of time until they are choked. A world without mangroves would suffer reduced biodiversity, eroded coastlines, decreased fish stocks, accelerated climate change from carbon release, and severe damage to coastal infrastructure as well as communities. Fortunately, with the help of radar technology, we can help prevent that from becoming a reality. Radar remote sensing is an essential tool for managing these precious ecosystems. Remote sensing efficiently gathers information in regions spanning the globe that would be difficult to access otherwise. NASA uses the UAVSAR, which is an active remote sensing instrument. It is a radar that can see through clouds and can measure forest structures and biomass. UAVSAR sends microwave pulses over the wetlands and detects the reflection. NASA flies the UAVSAR on manned and unmanned aircrafts like the Gulfstream 3 and the Global Hawk. They use a technique called radar interferometry, which requires two antennas to yield reliable estimates of the mangrove's canopy height as well as biomass. Analyzing the data in four dimensions, that including time, paints a complete picture of how climate change and human activity affect mangrove sites worldwide. Remote sensing can also reveal information about carbon sequestration, water quality, habitat composition, and more. These technological advances have improved our understanding of what services mangroves provide to us but also what we can do for them. With this new scientific knowledge, non-governmental organizations, local decision makers and policy makers can promote sustainable practices and provide for their people. As long as we do our part, the mangroves will continue to bring us the sea's riches and protect us from its dangers for many years to come.